Welcome to our Six Sigma series. Today we're diving into the measure phase. The measure phase is crucial in the DMAC methodology, which stands for Define, Measure, Analyze, Improve, and Control. In the measure phase, we aim to collect reliable data to understand a process's performance and pinpoint areas for improvement. But what exactly does this entail? Let's explore. The heart of the measurement phase is determining how well the current process performs. This is done by collecting meaningful data that clarifies how much variation exists within the current processes. Precise data collection is vital to start. Any decisions or conclusions drawn in subsequent phases could be flawed without accurate data. The first step is to develop a detailed measurement plan. This ensures you capture data correctly and consistently. Define what will be measured, identify the necessary tools and methods for data collection, and ensure every team member understands their role. Focusing on areas that significantly impact customer satisfaction and business goals is critical. In other words, selecting critical to quality characteristics, or CTQs, reflects the most important aspects of the customer's needs. Next, gather baseline data. This is your starting point for measuring improvements later. For accurate insights, it's vital to collect qualitative and quantitative data. This often includes customer feedback, process cycle times, or defect rates. Remember, garbage in, garbage out. High quality data is crucial for meaningful analysis later. Remember, data integrity is crucial. Faulty or biased measurements can lead to misguided analysis. Ensure measurement systems are validated and capable of providing reliable data. Once you've collected sufficient data, verify the measurement system's accuracy, measurement system analysis, MSA, using tools like Gauge r and which evaluate the precision of your measurement tools and procedures. After validating the measurement system, summarize the data to visualize the current state of the process. Tools like Pareto charts, histograms, and control charts can reveal patterns, trends, or areas of concern within collected data. These visual representations allow us to communicate findings effectively and build a solid foundation for the analyze phase, where you'll look for root causes of process inefficiencies. In conclusion, the measure phase involves laying robust data groundwork. It informs decision-making and sets the stage for quality improvement and process excellence. In upcoming episodes, we'll unpack the analyze phase. If you value our series, subscribe and hit the bell icon for more insights into Six Sigma. This is Kevin from Infinilene. Thank you for watching. See you soon.